so this next video continues on from my last video about drawing sharks um this one is drawing a hammerhead so enjoy now because this hammerhead is not straight um we are going to do a different approach so we do not need the ruler anymore what we need is to draw a light oval just on a slight angle here um to get the shape of the upper body cool and then we're going to do a long oval here skinnier than that overlapping and also another tiny little circle here cool so that's a start now for the hammer part of the head we're going to draw another oval here um this oval doesn't get any wider than that or else it'll look disproportionate so just keep in mind how big that is um it looks like nothing at the moment but that is okay now we're going to lightly connect these circles by going around the outside of them i would start here don't go perfectly to them just connect them so as you can see there's a gap in here um this is just to get the right shape i will come in here slightly because that's the bend and around up to here and around the outside of this And I'm not going to go in here because the bend is there. Now we can draw a fin. So hammerheads just have slightly bigger fins than the other sharks we've done. So as you can see, quite a big tail, quite an interesting shaped fin here, and quite a big top fin, which I have no idea what that's called. But that's okay. So I'm going to start that almost in this near the bend of the shark here just not too big but just big enough we can always change it down just a simple triangle slightly shorter and slightly bent on this side now for the other fin um it comes down here so this is a different shape to the triangle so we're going to start with a little line on an angle overlapping the body and then straight down and then curved it back up to about here. Sorry, that's my dog. Cool, now for an, there's a smaller fin on the back of the tail here. So again, longer on this side towards the head and shorter on the back. And two underneath here. One here, one about there. Now, I don't actually know where they're properly placed, but it looks pretty good. Now for the final tail. I'm just going to make this bit a lot thinner so then we can connect the two pieces of the tail here. I'm going to go quite big on this part of the tail and cut back in on an angle. And again, same on the bottom, but just a bit shorter. Cool, so these are our base. Now I'm going to erase the small lines in the inside and add the final details. Now up here at the face, I'm going to draw a line just cutting into here and again just curve this a little bit out a bit more just to make it a little bit thinner. That way it doesn't look like it's just attached, it's kind of a part of the body. And also just square off this one a little bit more because it's a little bit round for my liking. rubbing out this bit that I missed cool now for an eye just do a little eye here and just a little wrinkle around it and there we have our shark our hammerhead shark so again I'm just looking at it to see if it looks proportional I don't feel comfortable with this bit so I'm just gonna rub that out and just make it a little bit straighter because um, I don't want it to be like a big fat hammerhead just a nice skinny one and same with this side just make it a little bit straighter just a little bit 
Cool. Now adding the final details, I will just draw some girls here. And I did forget to draw the girls on my other one, so I'll just do that. They just go in line with the shark. And we do about three. Just adds a little bit more detail. And again, just a little light line. This one doesn't go through the middle, just more over the lower bit. And underneath the fin, so we can make that bit lighter when we draw it. Let me colour it in. I mean, not drawing. So here we have our three sharks. One, two, three. I'm going to colour them in with watercolours. Um, I'll show you how I do that. Um, if you don't have watercolours, then just simply colour them in with pencil. Um, and yes, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yes, keep watching if you have watercolours. The thing I like with color, watercolour pencils is that you can colour them in quite messily and painting with water over them really just smooths them out and makes them look awesome. Just be careful with what paper you use because sometimes it can get quite crinkled but if not you can always try it and see how it works. Now I don't actually know if you're supposed to do the outline first or not but I just do so then I can get rid of all the pencil markings before I start. Now with watercolours, I'm going to use um, a kind of just a blue on top and then kind of go down to a light blue slash grey at the bottom. So all I'm going to do is just lightly, not lightly, but just roughly colour the top half in and the bottom half in. And now that I've roughly covered that in, coloured that in, I've got just a little paintbrush and some water that I will be dipping my paintbrush into. Um, just don't have too much water on the paintbrush or else it kind of messes it up. Um, now I would recommend just starting at the top half of the shark. Just painting along the edges of it. Getting the dark blue bit first. And then slowly making your way down to the grey. And bringing the grey up to the blue. So then you can still get some grey in there. I forgot to colour these bits in, so I'll just really carefully, you don't want to get your pencil wet, colour in those as well. And here we have it. Our easy shark watercolouring. It looks really cool with the watercolour. Um, when it dries, I will colour this bit in black because I forgot and do some little teeth. Um, but while it's wet, I don't really want to touch it. Now I will do my neck sharks if you want to have a look. And there we have it, our three sharks. I just did some funky dots around them to make them look like they're underwater. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you would like to draw next with Drawing with Joe.